In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon your family, Lord, that through the chastening effects of bodily discipline, our minds may be radiant in your presence with the strength of your yearning for you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Just as from the heavens the rains and snow come down, and do not return there till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows and bread to the one who eats, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but shall do my will achieving the end for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, from all their distress, God rescues the just. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord hid, and from all of this distress, he saved him. From all their distress, God rescues the just. The Lord has eyes for the just and ears for their cry. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. From all their distress, God rescues the just. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them. And from all their distress, He rescues them. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit, He saves. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Please all stand. your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, In praying, do not babble like the pagans who think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses 
as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive men their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive men, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang uh, hapon po sa inyong lahat. Welcome po sa inyong lahat dito po sa National Shrine of St. Padre Pio. At nawa ano, ang inyong mga prayers na inyong inilalapit kay Santo Padre Pio ay inyong baunin pag-uwi. No? Ngayon po ay panahon ng kwaresma, no? Lent season. At pagkaganitong panahon, ang isa sa pinalalalim natin ay yung ating pagdadasal. No? Kaya nga, ngayon, ating napakinggan, tinuruan ni Jesus ang kanyang mga alagad, paano kayo magdadasal? Yung dasal na araw-araw nating ginagamit, dinadasal, ang Our Father. Ito ay katulad ng isang anak, no? isang bata na nagsasabi sa kanyang ama, Daddy, no? tatay, ama, na nakataas ang kanyang kamay na ha- samantalang pag ang batang ito ay nagsabi sa kanyang magulang o no? sa kanyang ama ng ama, Daddy, yung ama agad yang bumabaling sa anak. No? Kaya itong dasal na ito, ito yung pinaka-intimate na pamaraan ng Diyos para talagang mapalapit sa tao. Itong dasal na ito, ito na yung pinaka-intimate way ng Diyos para bilang ama at tayo mga anak, itong kanyang pamaraan. Pero meron siyang hinihiling ano, sa ating paglapit sa ama at pagtawag natin ng Daddy, Abba, o Father. Ang kanyang hinihiling ay magpatawad ka. No? Magpatawad ka. No? Yun ang kanyang hinihiling sa atin. Bago tayo tumawag ng Ama, Ama ko, Ama namin, ang kanyang request, no? bago ka lumapit sa Ama, patawarin mo muna ang lahat ng mga alamoy nakagawa sa iyo ng di maganda. Magpatawad ka. No, minsan lalapit sa confession. Pero alam mo sa puso mo, humihingi ka ng tawad sa Diyos. Pero alam mo, napakadaming tao ang hindi mo mapatawad-tawad. No? Kaya yung sinasabi ng Diyos, ano, sa yung paglapit sa kanya, sa pagtawag mo ng Ama, humingi ka ng tawad sa iyong mga kapatid. No? Humingi ng tawad. At sa iyong paghingi ng tawad, ngayon, makapangumpisal ka. Makapagsisi ka. No? Mayroong talagang tao na gustong humingi ng tawad sa Diyos, pero, di man marunong magpatawad. No? Gustong siya makaranas ng kalayaan sa kanyang sarili, makaramdam ng kapayapaan, inner peace. Pero hindi naman kaya magpatawad. No? Kaya, yun ang hinihiling ng Diyos sa atin ngayon, ngayong araw na ito. Tinuruan ni Jesus ang kanyang mga alagad kung paano lumapit at maging intimate sa Diyos. Pero kanyang hinihiling ngayon naman, di tayo ay magpatawad. For your offerings in the envelope, you may drop them at the collection baskets. So you Amen. 
Please all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good for of all His holy church. Receive, O Creator, Almighty God, what we bring from your bountiful goodness, and be pleased to transform this temporal sustenance you have given us, that it may bring us eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through your bodily fasting you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through Him the angels praise your majesty Dominions adore and powers tremble before you, heaven and the virtues of heaven, and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of Heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son of Hidayas. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son of Those who are unable to kneel, please remain standing with reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the jewel, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more given thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Gilbert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honors is yours forever and ever. stand at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Those who are unable to kneel, please remain standing with reverence. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
The second collection which will be done is for the continuing development of the parish and national shrine of St. Padre Pio and for the needs of welfare of the sick and retired priests of the Archdiocese of Lipa. Thank you for your offering. stand. Let us pray. May your faithful be strengthened, O God, by your blessing. Grant us through these mysteries, Lord, that by moderating earthly desires, we may learn to love the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the intercession to Saint Padre Pio. Padre Pio, holy monk from Petralcina, outstanding saint of the present era, our bright beacon on this earthly pilgrimage, our sanctuary in times of trouble, holy exemplar of great courage, with, your, with you our needs do we confide, as well as our livelihood, our health and our might. Unworthy as we are, we pray that you concede, bless and grace us, that our lives may be fulfilled. From sin may we abstain, in God may remain. We also beseech thee, servant of the Most Holy, to instruct us in the Gospel, that we may reflect and believe, our request and before thee, our hearts repent, resolving earnestly to not sin again, 
to always follow God the Father, together with the Spirit and Jesus, the Mediator. Amen. Please be seated for some announcement. Una sa inyong pagdalo sa pambansang dambana, mangyaring pakiingatan ng inyong mga personal na gamit. Hangad namin ang isang matiwasay at maayos ng pagbisita sa National Shrine. Ikalawa, mga kapiyo, kami po ay humihingi ng inyong konting oras at pakikiisa para sa pagsusulat ng inyong mga pangalan at detalye sa ating Pilgrim's Information Record Books na makikita sa paligid ng ating mga simbahan. Ito po ay bahagi ng documentation program para sa pagpapalawig ng mga datos at turismong pangsimbahan at bilang alaala din ng inyong pagbisita sa Pampansang Dambana. Para po sa ating mga balikbayan, OFW at mga kasamang niyong foreigners, doon po kayo magsusulat sa International Pilgrims Record Book. Gagabayan po kayo ng ating mga tagapaglingkod. Bilang isa mga sa mga Archdiocese and Centers for Reconciliation at bahagi ng pagsasakripisyo ngayong panahon ng Kwaresma, tayon po ay ini iniyanyahang mangumpisal at magsisi sa ating mga kasalanan. Makikita po ninyo sa, sa screen ang mga confession schedule. Gayon din naman, meron po tayong pagdarasal ng istasyon ng Cruz tuwing araw ng Biyernes sa ganap ng ikatlo ng hapon. Ang aklat dasalan po ay available sa ating mga tindahan. Ikalima, mga kapiyo, bahagi pa din ng ating pagpapalalim ng pananampalataya at pagninilay ngayong panahon ng Kwaresma, ang ating lakbay parokya ay gagawin natin sa ilang mga simbahan sa Pampanga sa darating na March 21, 2024. Para sa mga nagnanais sumama, kayo po ay magpalista sa opisina ng parokya sa halagang 2,500 piso hanggang ngayong March 10 lamang. Ikaanim, ngayon po ay makakaroon ng gawaing samahan ng mga nambana at basilika ng Pilipinas para sa kanilang taon ng pagsama-sama. Dahil dito ay pasamantalawang pong wala po tayong misa sa ikasampu ng umaga sa Merkoles upang bagyan daan ng kanilang mga pagdiriwang. Ikapito, sa darating pong biyernes at ay ikadalawang po tatlo ng buwan, ang araw ng pagpapagaling ng Panginoon sa pamamagitan ni Santo Padre Pio, ang mga oras ng healing mass at healing liturgy na may pagpagawad ng langis ay sa ganap na ikasyam ng umaga at ikalima ng hapon. Kayo at ang inyong may sakit ay iniyanyayahan. Maraming salamat po at mangyaring panatalihin natin ang kalinisan, katahimikan at diwa ng panalangin sa loob at labas ng ating mga simbahan. Magsitayo na po ang lahat para sa pagbabasdas ng religious articles. Mga kapatid, manalangin tayo sa Diyos amang makapangyarihan upang tayo maging kawangis ni Kristo sa taimtim na pagdalangin sa tulong ng mga larawan at mga dasalan. O Panginoong Diyos, ikaw ang bukal ng lahat ng pagkapala at biyaya. Ibuhos mo ang iyong bindisyon sa mga gamit na ito sa pananalangin, mga rosaryo, mga imahin, mga dasalan na nagpapaalaala ng iyong kabutihan kabahanalan at pagmamahal sa amin upang ang lahat ng dumulog at magdasal gamit ng mga ito ay magtamo ng iyong awa at biyaya. Loobin mong tulara nawa nila ang kabahanalan at aral ng Panginoon at ng mga santo magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread And forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and now for death. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without an amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Sino man ang nabubuhay para sa sarili lamang. Walang sino man ang namamatay para sa sarili lamang. 